The Adventures of Wrath and the Sun Game Chapter 1 The Three Heroes of Legend Long ago in server far, far away, there lived an angsty and socially awkward man. We'll call him Wrath. Wrath dreamed of one thing, to be the very best at Brawl Stars. Unfortunately, that was nothing but a foolish dream of a triard. For if he couldn't even get a girlfriend, how could he go pro? So Wrath ranted and ranted until there was nothing but a man talking to himself, for he scared anyone who dared to talk to him. What did he rant about? The meadow, of course. This went on for months. All this isolation made Wrath ignorant of the outside world, for he knew nothing beyond the channel he lived and ranted in. People would visit Wrath, sure, and he would rant to them as a form of greeting. Those who joined in qu quickly leave after they realize what they started. While Wrath was busy ranting to a wall, he was unaware of the situation our other heroes were involved in. That's a story for another chapter. One day, these two heroes visited the Hermit Wrath. Their names written in the prophecy, Akari and Patrica. These two very special men showed Wrath there's more people to rant outside of his home. And like an illegal alien, they deported Wrath to the global chat to witness the retardation that was Discord. End of chapter 1. Chapter 2. Wrath meets the mentally challenged. Long ago, Bandit's servers and his four groups lived in harmony, but everything changed when the Hot Springs gang attacked. Wait, that's copyrighted. To understand the story, you'll need some background information. While Wrath was ranting his ass off in another channel, Akari and his simps were conquering the globe and crushing the hearts of anyone who dared oppose him. I know you're likely thinking, isn't Akari a man? And as you know in the Bible, it stated, A man shall not sin for another man, for if he does, he'll be damned to the eternal fire. If a man falls down to the dark path, his homie shall illuminate the path of salvation. Carl 21.4 Even so, this did not stop him. A card cast away his manlyhood and walked into the path of the e-girl, using his stand to swap genders at will. Many of his victims failed to see through his highly evolved camouflage, and watching from the shadows immune to his effects of Akari's clutches was the one called Pat. Waiting for his opportunity to strike, once Operation Find the Sausage was launched and Akari was dethroned, powers revoked and shunned. He had no one, and Pat saw the opportunity. Pat befriended the once queen of the server, Akari, branded with the name Akari for his crimes against humanity so none shall forget his past. Uncaring of the past, Pat befriended Akari thus an inseparable bond was formed that day. One that goes to this very day, after multiple adventures together, these two mentally challenged individuals found their way into the lost forest of the Brawl Stars, where the legendary bum known as Wrath resided. Wrath would follow these two out of the woods and in the open field known as the Global Chat, where Wrath, being shy, would occasionally talk, but not very much, eventually starting the rant once, comfortable in his new home. Wrath, being full of poor and having no nitro, sent the very first moon emoji, lighting a catalyst to a long and painful road, illuminated in moonlight and scorched by the sun, south of their settlement. A group of villains watched in worry for they know what was to come for their land. End of chapter 2